I speak of what I know and have seen, and it has not been received by the religious leaders. It is hard to receive. So if I have told you of earthly things, and you do not believe, how can I tell you heavenly things? I believe your words. I just fear you may not have a chance to speak many more of them before you are silenced. I have come to do more than speak words, Nicodemus. More miracles? Yes. But even more than that. Do you remember when the children of Israel complained against God and against Moses in the wilderness of Paran? Yes. They wanted to return to Egypt and they cursed the manna that God sent them. And then? They were bitten by serpents and they were dying. But? But God made a way for them to be healed. Moses lifted the bronze serpent in the desert and people only needed to look at it. So will the Son of Man be lifted up so that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. Our people are not dying from snake bites. They're dying from taxation and oppression. I'm sorry to disappoint you. But I did not come to deliver the people from Rome. Then from what? From sin. From spiritual death. God loves the world in this way. That he gave his only son. That whoever believes in him shall not perish. But have eternal life. So this has nothing to do with Rome. It's all about... Sin. God did not send his son into the world to condemn it, Nicodemus. He sent him to save it through him. It's as simple as Moses' serpent on the pole. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already. Have you ever heard anything like this before? Shh. When I met Lilith, Mary, that day, I told my wife and my students I said, she was beyond human aid. Only God could have healed her. And then I saw her healed. And here you are. The healer. I, my whole life, I have wondered if I would see this day. Follow me, and you'll see more.